morning and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you're here with me this morning. I really hope that everyone had a safe and nice Thanksgiving. Um, Sean and I stayed in Pittsburgh for a variety of reasons, which I'll kind of get into. I wanted to like sit down and chat this morning. Um, but we stayed in Pittsburgh and it ended up being really nice. We just went and drove to a park nearby, took Olive for a little walk and it was great cause like there aren't a lot of people there. It's really easy to kind of navigate um, the trails, like avoiding people. So we were able to have just like a nice stroll in the morning. I cooked all of Thanksgiving dinner, not because Sean didn't want to, but because I was like, really wanted to like host something <laughs> so I made like a cheese board to start and then we had like cornbread and mashed potatoes and corn casserole which is just like basically cream cheese that has like corn in it um and typically we're vegan or like plant-based but just like not on Thanksgiving um and then I got some like of these baked goods from this gluten-free bakery that I love in Pittsburgh. If you are in Pittsburgh and you're gluten-free or you just like great baked goods, it's called Gluteny. And it really isn't just for people with allergies. Like I think people tend to think that about like specialty bakeries, but it's their stuff is so good. And if you have like a friend who's gluten-free and you need stuff for like your party, I don't know, you just won't be disappointed. It's really good. Yeah, we are just chilling. It's like very messy in here because I actually slept on the couch last night. Olive was just like being a huge butt. So we're a little disheveled. I didn't even know if I was gonna film today. I really wanted to film Thanksgiving and then I was just too tired because I actually have COVID. I tested positive and I, that is like a very scary thing to say to the internet, I feel like, because of all the stigma that can come with it. But the reason I wanna talk about it is from like a nursing school perspective for my fellow nursing students out there or even nurses like who are kind of dealing with this there is like an ethical discussion that's kind of not really being had or that I haven't been a part of so let me rewind a bit so I heard earlier this week that I had come into contact with someone that ended up being positive because of this I had to make the choice to either this was on Monday on Tuesday I was supposed to go into the hospital and you know the person I came into contact with we were barely together when we were we had our masks on we we're basically at our new house they were upstairs and we were downstairs painting in my mind it was like trying to retrace those steps uh did we talk less than six feet like how long was that contact etc whatever and in the back of my head you know as a nursing student this might sound crazy but i was like i just can't miss clinical it's such a big deal i don't want to inconvenience anybody with having to figure out an alternative assignment by telling them that i've come into contact with someone i'm gonna to have to quarantine for 14 days i'm gonna miss next week's clinical which is where i have two practicals to do it was just a very overwhelming dilemma for me i think when it comes down to it and it's about to affect your life i think it's such an interesting debate it shouldn't be but it it just was because it just that was the reality i felt like oh well I probably don't have it and what's the harm you know but I decided to call uh, the health services department at my school um, I communicated with my advisor and um, the director of my program let them know it was happening and I ended up having to quarantine meanwhile I have been feeling slightly under the weather in the way that I have this little slight cough like last week I had these like body aches but trust me when I say I thought it was something else that was happening that I was going through so these things were happening kind of concurrently so I got them a little mixed up I thought the cause of my body aches and just slight illness was this other thing that I was dealing with turns out Sean I'm really grateful for him. He kind of pushed me to go get tested. It was an easy thing to do right now because everyone is getting tested, but I went into the Med Express, you know, waited my two hours to get tested, which is honestly cake compared to some other people. And 
their wait times. Sat in the waiting room and they did a rapid and then they did a full lab test because the rapids are only about 80% effective. Please do not take a negative rapid test as a negative COVID test. Like the only way the rapid can help you is if you're positive, it'll let you know earlier so you can start isolating. Anyway, so they come back in and they're like, turns out you're positive. I seriously felt like they were like telling me like I was pregnant or something. It was such a surreal thing. Cause I was like, no way, really? Okay, well, okay, like I feel like we're going, we're gonna get through it. And now I have to, it's a reconfirmed um, 10 days of quarantine, which is fine. That's, I'd rather know and just isolate. But you know, I came home and this is the reason I'm talking about it because my decisions could have affected so many people by, and we got, I feel as though we got kind of lucky. I'm not gonna say this is all just good judgment, I, I think we got kind of lucky like we canceled a trip with Sean's parents They were gonna come here to see our house just drive here, you know, like just stay in our apartment Just go, like we weren't gonna do anything But they were still gonna come here and that would have exposed them potentially um, But we canceled that because it just didn't feel right. I didn't go to clinical and I think about this every single day if I would ha would have spared myself the inconvenience of making up a clinical I would have gone to the hospital COVID positive and that to me is a big deal. That matters to me because as a nurse, my job is to do no harm. And I could have gone there and exposed a bunch of people who are already in the hospital to COVID. And that is the last thing that they need. And I would have never known the impact of that. I would have just had to live with the fact that I made that selfish decision and then the trickle effect is going to be what it's gonna be because I can't follow up with all of them and all of their families and the impact that I'm gonna spread. I'm very extremely grateful I made that decision and I'm, I've am i gotta tell you, I made the decision, called my mom and cried for 30 minutes because I was stressed about missing clinical. So that's not, I don't wanna, this isn't to like feel bad for me or whatever. It's just to, to show like the human emotion and how I get, I absolutely get the dilemma of deciding to do something and how freaking inconvenient COVID really is. And that's to say the least, obviously. I wanna put the big like not insensitive disclaimer here because trust me, I mean, we've been, we get it. The final thing is we decided to not go home for Thanksgiving like a week ago, but it's like a really good thing we did because I would have probably ignored how I was feeling because I wouldn't want to interfere with going home, I would have gone home and I would have exposed my family, which is the last thing that I want to do. COVID is out there. If you are a nurse or a nursing student or really anyone, but especially people who are working with the already compromised and you're in the hospital, just remember that your decisions impact other people. You know, I'm not going to tell frontline workers how to live their life but what i'm saying is like if it's between you missing a clinical and having to do an alternative assignment and you going to try to spare yourself some inconvenience just think about the long-term impact of that and i have to say i did my alternative assignment my teachers were extremely kind in helping me rearrange things i i know that they were probably inconvenienced by it, but I'm very grateful for how they responded and it's just the nature of the time. It's just what's happening. And I'd rather be honest and not expose a bunch of people than just hide it so I can get my shit done. Okay, well then anyway, that's my story. I don't wanna be like preachy or redundant or whatever, but I just wanted to share my experience and I get how difficult, I get how difficult this is. And it's really gonna put us all through tough times in one way or another if it i mean it already has it's been a long 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 year but we're all gonna get through it and the, the light is at the end of the tunnel so just buckle down spend this last your last 2020 energy your last bit of light just taking care of yourself number one and two just thinking of others and making all your decisions with others in mind. I would say that that's my goal of 2020. Definitely, I'm getting kind of winded talking. <laughs> COVID is ridiculous. But we are here in our apartment. 
I don't think this is gonna be that interesting of a vlog because you get to just experience our quarantine. We are literally just trying to minimize trips out and back and forth. Sean is luckily not experiencing symptoms and has not tested positive, so, but I mean, we're considering him positive anyway because we live in like a thousand square feet, but and we're so close, but we're literally just going out to take all of out and we're masked up and we're not touching anything, like using other things to open the doors and stuff just to keep our neighbors safe. I have spent all day yesterday um, polishing off those Thanksgiving leftovers, so I'm feeling bloated but happy and I think today I'm gonna just like really start to do that like between Christmas and Thanksgiving reset so maybe I'll show you what I eat today because I don't know I'm gonna try to make it healthy and go back on my plant-based game get some fruits and vegetables because I feel like my body is craving something nutritious and not beige I literally ate all beige foods yesterday mashed potatoes corn casserole cornbread, pie, and ice cream, and on repeat all day long. So let's just try to like eat a nutrient or a bit of, or a mineral today. I don't know. One or the other. So we are about to eat breakfast. Uh, Sean made breakfast potatoes and avocado toast and then we're watching Lord of the Rings. I've never seen it and I figure that quarantine is the best time to start three three hour long movies because what else are we gonna do? We are back from painting the house. We basically just like did the trim, not the trim, the like edges again, and then ripped up the tape after we taped up our bedroom. It's really satisfying, but also like clearly we are not professionals because there was like a little strip of the green at the bottom. So we're gonna have to go in with like a little paintbrush and fix that. It's just like, it looks so much easier online. I'm looking for a quote from local people to maybe just do the, three upstairs bedrooms. I would prefer not to pay for it, but if we're gonna get into our house anytime soon, I would really love to have the rooms painted before we move, just cause it's so much easier without furniture. And when we're not like living there, we don't have people coming in and out with us in the house. So I'm thinking about just having some people come in a couple weeks and just do it, like get it done. Cause I feel like they can do it over like a couple days but we'll see. I'm just getting some quotes on that. It's a gorgeous day. We're just back in the um, apartment. Sean's making a salad and I'm gonna eat leftover Thai food because I ate a vegetable this morning and there's vegetables in the Thai food. So I guess we're not fully on our uh, comeback kick from Thanksgiving yet, but I make no apologies. I'm sick, I can do whatever I want. So this is probably the last spot you saw me, but it's Sunday. I kind of like lost track of the evening last night. We did like a family trivia Zoom, which was really fun. And I ended up staying on a little longer with some of my family members. And it was just nice, just nice to chat with everyone. And you know, Zoom isn't the same as in person, but it still feels good to hang out. And then Sean and I just made dinner and then we got in bed and started the second Lord of the Rings. I'm actually like really liking it. I'm a big like Harry Potter fan and I, that might like really offend people that I'm comparing the two. I don't know, I don't wanna, people are really like loyal to their, whatever they're a fan of, but I'm really enjoying it. I, I've like always been so hesitant to watch it because they're so long, but it's been fun. So we got about halfway through the second one. I definitely had bigger plans to like get ahead during this Thanksgiving break. And I feel like I did a decent amount of work. Definitely not as much as I like planned on. So today Sean is at the house and that's kind of nice cause it's gonna give me a chance to just get some work done. My final for my like main class is on fluids and electrolytes. And I feel like this is like kind of the most content that I've had so far for a test like my other tests have been pretty like intuitive uh things including like sexuality spirituality i just mentioned that i had like an elimination test last week which like yeah you need to know things about that but i feel like they're more intuitive like you just kind of know more about that because it's it happens to everyone but like i don't think many people walk around thinking about their electrolytes and like what happens if they don't have enough sodium or whatever you know so that i really want to spend i have like 
two weeks basically till that exam it's the last week of school for me so i'm gonna make a quizlet today with the electrolytes i'll link my quizlet in the description box but full disclaimer i am not like a flashcard person I, I they might be helpful for you they might not sometimes i find it's hard to use other people's study materials because a lot of it is just like what makes sense in your own head but if it helps you like go for it definitely use it the last week is gonna end up being really stacked for me because that's when my quarantine is up so i'm gonna be able to like go back to campus at that point and do my like in-person practicals so i just don't want to flood the last week with literally everything because you know i just when i can relieve some stress i'm gonna try to do that because there's no point in torturing myself even though i love to procrastinate i know you are probably sick of hearing me talk at this point this was a very chatty video but if you like this video and you want to see more um we're just beginning on this nursing journey please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because i put up a video every monday and i'll see you guys next week bye